This lesson covers California 8th grade science content standards 1B, which states that students know that the average speed is the total distance divided by the total time elapsed and the speed of an object along the path traveled can vary. Standard 1C, which states that students know how to solve problems involving distance, time, and average speed. Standard 1D, which states that students know the velocity of an object must be described by specifying both the direction and the speed of the object. And 1E, which states that students know that changes in velocity may be due to changes in speed, direction, or both. The learning objectives, or things you should be able to do at the end of this lesson, are as follows. You should be able to explain how speed is a rate of change, solve motion problems involving average speed, explain why velocity is a vector, and determine when acceleration happens. Speed, velocity, and acceleration describe how an object's position and motion change through time. Now you've probably heard of speed before, uh, but speed is a rate, and rates measure the change in something over a length of time. What speed measures is the rate of change of distance over time. So you'll always have some distance over time. For example, you can think of 55 miles per hour. That's 55 miles you go over the course of an hour. Okay, That's the distance over time. You also have kilometers per hour, meters per second, inches per day. You could have, you know, some form of distance over time and that'll be your speed now we have what's called constant speed that is an object that's moving at the same diff distance each second so if you look at the hurdler in this picture here you can see that after two seconds she's gone 10 meters after four seconds she's gone 20 meters and after six seconds she's gone 30 meters so at one second between zero seconds and two seconds you can see that she's gone five meters and every second she's going another five meters okay so in this case this hurdler is traveling at a constant speed of five meters per second because every second she's going another five meters now this isn't always the case we also have changing speed so a car that's driving through town, for example, has to start and stop. Therefore, its speed is not constant. Now, the speed of a car at any given time is its instantaneous speed. And that's, kind of, that's what the cops clock you at when they catch people speeding or they want to see how fast someone's going. They use their radar gun and the speed that shows up on the radar gun is the instantaneous speed. You also may have seen those signs when you're driving down the road that tell you how fast you're going and encourage people to stop down or slow down. That those signs are taking um, a measurement of your instantaneous speed. All right, which brings us to average speed. And we are going to be working a lot with average speed. Uh, the next video is going to show you examples of how to calculate average speed using total distance and time. But you should be aware that the average speed is equal to the total distance that's traveled divided by the time it takes to travel that distance. Okay, And so that is how you calculate the average speed. And like the force, mass, and acceleration problems that we've done before, the, there's three variables. And so if you have two of the variables, you can calculate the missing variable. Which brings us to velocity. Okay. Velocity is the speed and direction of a moving object. So because velocity has both size or magnitude and direction, velocity is a vector. Okay. We already know that speed is the rate of change of distance over time. Okay. Velocity is the speed and direction. Okay, so in terms of velocity, you need to understand that, for example, if someone says that they are going 100 miles per hour, they've just given you their speed. If someone says that they are going 100 miles per hour east, they've given you their velocity because speed 
only tells you you know the rate of change over distance but velocity tells you your speed and direction okay and because velocity is a vector it has size and direction the size of a velocity vector is the speed okay so again if you say I'm going 50 miles an hour north okay that is a velocity because you've given your speed and your direction now acceleration is the rate at which velocity changes with time okay so this measures the how fast or slow velocity is changing and because acceleration has to do with velocity which has size and direction anytime you change your speed or your direction you will be changing your velocity and anytime you are changing your velocity you are accelerating so for example you can be traveling at a constant speed sort of like the horses on a carousel but because your velocity is changing you are constantly accelerating and because and that is because your direction is constantly changing and if velocity is changing, acceleration is changing or happening. You should now be able to achieve all of these learning objectives. Please look over them. If you cannot do them, please go back, watch the video, and make sure that you can do these to show that you have learned the material contained in this video.